to my channel. Today I'll be showing you what's in my pen case. I got this really pretty pen case from Aurora Estelle, which is also local in my city, which I really, really enjoy. Um, but um, in general, her her amazing um, journals and planners are really, really pretty. Um, the quality of her products are really, really nice. And I'm excited to show you um, her pen case and look how pretty it is. Um, I fit, you can fit a ton of things in here. And the inside is really pretty too. It has pink lining and it's really, really soft. And I just can't wait to show you. So if you're interested in seeing what's in my pen case, make sure to keep watching. So this is the pen case. It's super pretty. It has like this really pretty pebbled leather. Um, it's like super nice to have as a pen case. So when you open it up, you can open it super wide and you can just see everything that's inside. You can just grab whatever you need. And basically, um, it's super easy to... Um, Super pretty and super minimalistic, and it has a really pretty um, ball, which I'm going to try to show you. So this is what it looks like. It has um, Aurora Estelle's logo on there, which is super cute. So I'm going to go through what I have in here, and I can show also show you how I use them. Um, so let's get in. So my most used pen in here is obviously my Sarasa um, 004. 0 0.5 um, gel pen. This one is something I have in every bag, every pocket, every place I have. And if I'm not using this one, I am using Muji's. Um, so like this, but in the black version. So this one, um, super important. They, um, my favorite are definitely gel pens. Um, sometimes they smudge, but I try to not touch them for maybe like five seconds. They usually dry by then. So I have those in there. I have a bunch of other Sarasas in here. So I'm gonna show you all the colors I have. So right now I am using these three colors. These are, um, there's like a pink one here. Um, there's a blue one here and these ones, and this one is purple. Um, these ones are unfortunately 0 0.7, which I don't mind when I'm taking notes with these um, because um, in, normally I wouldn't use 0 0.7 because in my um, planner, I feel like when you write smaller, um, you don't want to, um, what do you call it? You don't want the notes to not look as good, I guess, and it just makes it really clumped together. So 0 0.5 is usually perfect for any planner that I use, especially if I'm using um, a really small planner such as my... Um, LV agenda so I would write really really small and I just don't want 0 0.7 to just ruin everything basically but yeah so that's why when I use um, planners I try to keep with 0 0.5 but I don't really need color pens when it comes to planners because I just write what I need um, you could use these for planners if you want but I use them for more for note taking such as if I'm doing online courses online or if I'm going to school or something like that so here I'm going to show you an example so here you see I've been note taking um, I've done a lot of there's my writing is a little bit bigger which is good so I can read it better um, so that really helps with the colors that I use. Um, I also use this green one, which is um, my um, Muji one. I only use this because I just like the color green and it pops up a little more, or else I would just be using these ones because they're basically the same um, types of pen. This one, I believe, is 0 0.5, um, but that's totally fine. So this is how I write my notes down. So since I write bigger, um, 0 0.7 would be perfect because it just makes everything bolder and better. So that's why I have that. And then other things I have in here, I have another pen here. This one is um, Pilot's Juice. I don't know why I have this in here. I believe it's because I like this color, so I decided to leave it in here. This is just a 0 0.5. This one is not as pigmented as my Sarasa, so that's why I only reach for it when I need to write something with this color, basically. Um, but that is pretty much it. And then I have a pencil in here, because you never know, you always need a pencil, so I just have a pencil in here. This one is from Pento Japan. 
Then you obviously need um, a highlighter. I would usually keep two highlighters in here, but right now I only have a one. So this is perfect just to highlight anything. And I've seen a lot of planner people highlight their stuff, which I think is super cool. And I definitely want to try that. So um, I have that in here. And then the last two things I have um, is this. So this is just a ruler that I got from, I believe, some stationery store from Artbox here. Vancouver so I just have that and last but not least um, I have these scissors so these are really cool scissors these are from Midori I believe and all you have to do is just push it up and they become scissors which is super convenient if you need to cut something randomly and you just don't want the blade to be showing everywhere so that's why I have that in here and that is pretty much it. So this is how the inside looks like. It's really, really soft inside. It's kind of like a velvet material. Um, I really, really love this pencil case because, or pen case, it's because I've used so many pen case in the in the past and I never found one that I really really like because they're usually were too girly they were too cutesy um, they were too plain looking but this is just like a luxury almost a luxury style um, pen case and it has all the gold that everyone loves and the black um, and inside is even prettier because they added some pink in it um, but they do have all these other colors and everything I will link um, their website down below so you can go check it out and I believe I do have a code that I can give you so I will link that down below too so make sure you go check that out and yeah thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed my pen case um and yeah and the secrets of what I use with them and yeah so hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and comment down below anything else you would like to see and I will see you next time bye